Well, you know, I grew up during the Depression. Uh, <clears throat> it, uh, you, can, you don't really remember that much of it. You, you figured what you were doing was kind of normal. Ogden was a big railroad center. They had trains that would come in from the east and the west, and they'd reassemble them and send them out. So it, <clears throat> there were a lot of people who would or bums as we used to call them, that would come here and then have to wait a couple of days to catch a train to wherever that they were going. I, I remember that because you'd see them walk around, they'd come to the door and wonder if there's something they can do for a meal. And uh, Well, mother was always very generous, but she was also skimpy. She'd make them a sandwich, but it would be very, very skimpy with the meat. and. <laughs> Dad was working mainly, I, you, I wouldn't see him because he'd be gone before I would get up and uh, he, <clears throat> he would come, come in. The only time I really remember seeing him was around Christmas time because he, he was <clears throat> working full time, one of the few, few people that were. And he also was supporting uh, my half-sister, Pat, and her family. He was uh, a yard master at the OUR and &E. I remember uh, a group of scouts, they were getting a little older. Uh, we accepted, or we did some things, and we, as a, right, as a, as a, as a reward, uh, we were given an airplane ride. And uh, that was really my first exposure to it. Yeah, I had already enlisted in the in the Navy, in the V-5 program, which was the five cadets. As soon as school was out, we got our orders, and uh, we started out as in the V-12 in the V-5 program. And then they switched us to the V-12 program. That's where we went. We started going to school at Gonzaga. Well, it was very busy at that time. You know, everybody had a job, and you could find work. And so, from that standpoint, it was good. And I mainly, uh, I met Tug Savage. Uh, kind of piled around with him, and. Uh, he turned out, uh, well, he was the best man at our wedding also. Was that a blind date? How did that happen? Uh, yeah, it was, it was a blind date. Birmingham, Alabama <clears throat> had a lot of work and they, they didn't have enough people. So they asked who would like to go down there. And so I said, yeah, I'll go. And uh, so <clears throat> we, uh, we flew to Chicago and we picked up our green ranch wagon at that time <laughs> and drove down to Birmingham. And uh, I worked in, in the engineering department at that time. But also, during that period, we had a vacation, so we took off for Florida and uh, drove all the way down and drove back on the Tamiami Trail and uh, we saw a lot of Florida. We, we bought our first television set there, and uh, I remember watching Arthur Godfrey. <laughs> uh, we were sent back to Salt Lake, and uh, I got involved uh, in the engineering department of uh, uh, design of evaporators, which are used in the paper making industry. But shortly thereafter, uh, I was transferred to the sales department in San Francisco. I was given really a lot of, a lot of latitude. I, uh, as I think back on it now, <laughs> I'm surprised. And uh, <clears throat> then we came up with this offshore oil tank and uh, that really changed, changed everything. 
they had discovered oil in the Persian Gulf and down in Dubai. And uh, I remember going in, into Dubai the, the first time, you know, at this one runway. And they had a sheet metal uh, hangar type thing where people would bring in <coughs> in gold and barter it away and then they'd buy a car if, you know if, that, if that's what they wanted your mother put up with three day a lot because I, I was traveling a lot and uh, she had the, the burden of, of the generally all, all of raising the family as it turns out but then Mr. Mitchell uh, thought there was another place for me within the company. But anyhow, I, <clears throat> I had the responsibility of the, of the west coast of the United States plus the Asia Pacific area. Uh, so we may, mainly worked out of uh, uh, Singapore. But then, <clears throat> then we began to think maybe we should spend more time in China. And that's when I, I, we moved to Hong Kong. And as a result, we, we were able and to see many parts of the world and do many things that most people just dream about. And it was fun. She was always a willing partner in all that travel. Oh boy, she was. <laughs> she, she was ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> For someone who is so afraid of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> so as you, as you reflect back on your career, your family, uh, just uh, what what are the things that you're most uh, proud of um, that you that you feel like you've accomplished? I mean, you always said to me, you know, we we get here and we we live to make a contribution. We really look back and the things that we contribute. What, what, what would you say your contributions are? Well, <clears throat> I think uh, I think the children uh, are really the because you've all turned out so well. I think that's it, really. <laughs>